My name is uh, Eric Hippo. I'm a venture capitalist. My firm is called Larry Hippo Ventures. Where it's me plus three other partners. We uh, are technology investors, so we look for companies that use technology, primarily consumer technology. Doesn't mean that they have to be consumer facing, but the technology has to be based on the same technology that we all use day to day. Uh, and so we're looking for companies that use technology to either create large new marketplaces or large new businesses uh, or who disrupt uh, large businesses uh, that are already in place. Um, and New York is particularly well suited for this because there's a lot of uh, people with uh, very diverse backgrounds, uh, diverse domain knowledge. Uh, we have a lot of people in, the, in our educational system, a million kids in our public school system, 600,000 college students. Um, and technology today is primarily developed in, in large urban centers. So obviously New York is well positioned for that. The, the difference between New York and Silicon Valley is in the kind of, of technology that people, that we develop here as opposed to in Silicon Valley. First, I think it, it, we should point out what the similarities are. And the similarities are that because technology today is um, transportable and rentable and uh, relatively cheap uh, to, uh, to use, uh, we in New York, but it could be anywhere, it could be Bombay, it could be uh, Austin, have access to the same technology to develop new applications, new services uh, than anybody in Silicon Valley. So everyone starts with the same level playing field. The technology is accessible through the cloud, it's rentable through the cloud. Anybody can start a company with uh, you know, a couple of, 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 of laptops and uh, two or three people and you have and a few thousand dollars literally and you can start a company and you can start a business. So it's very different today than it was uh, just a few years ago uh, where a, a large part of the money that you raised actually went to the acquisition of the technology. You had to buy servers and you had to buy hardware. You had to buy expensive software licenses uh, and today, you don't have to do any of that. So that's a big difference, but um, we, we have in New York, as, 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 as anywhere else, access to the same latest developments in technology than anybody in Silicon Valley. The, the big difference is that New York um, focuses more on the software layer, on the application and the services layer, um, so that we're really good at software in New York. We, we, uh, we're good at, um, at platforms, uh, we're good at consumer-facing application. We're good at um, enterprise software, software as a service. Um, we're good at a variety of different domains. Uh, obviously, uh, the ones that you can think of, the traditional sectors such as advertising and media, and, uh, but also healthcare uh, and you know, a variety of different um, domains where you have people who have experience and expertise. Uh, because they, you know, some big companies are located here and big sectors of the economy are, are based here. What New York um, is probably not going to do is develop the, the next plumbing for the Internet. Uh, that's more likely to be uh, coming out of the West Coast. But having said that, uh, we're increasingly getting more and more advanced engineering talent uh, in New York. In fact, uh, on Roosevelt Island, uh, there's going to be a, a, a Cornell University in, in conjunction with um, uh, the big technology institute in, um, in Israel are building a campus and which will be ready in two or three years but the classes have already started in other locations and this is all going to be advanced applied engineering so who knows uh, what's going to develop in the future some hardware is already being developed in New York we invest, invested for instance in MakerBot the 3D printer company that was sold recently to um, um, another 3D printer company. So, uh, so there, is, uh, there is a background in, in um, hardware and manufacturing in New York, but generally speaking, it's really software that's, um, that's the, the, the big thing, as it were, here in New York.